engineer 775 here and we've been here for maybe an hour not quite we're about 30 minutes of working on we're installing a solar arc we're in a crawl space and there's two electrical panels Larry's going like mad I wanted to film before we get started but he's trying to finish it before I can film the first section of this job anyway we appreciate him we're putting a daisy chain transfer switch on this we have two of these Gentran six channel transfer switches, six circuit transfer switches, and they're chained together. So the one over there, that's gonna go into this panel. It's kind of a, they didn't have one 200 amp panel, we got two 100 amp panels. And we're gonna pick selective circuits from each of this, uh, these panels and hook them into these transfer switches, which is connected to the Solark. We're also possibly gonna run another sub a circuit to another outbuilding off of this uh, these panels and I didn't even share that with Mr. Larry yet so um, what? Nah. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is work with a homeowner to determine what circuits they want and the reason I did 12 circuits we can't run all 12 but they have a wood boiler that they obviously use in the winter they have a air conditioner for the summer and instead of them having to rewire the transfer switch we just hooked up two so they can control it using the, the switches right here so um, it makes it easy for them to come in and seasonally select uh, <coughs> the use of the of the Solark. Now again the Solark is yeah, will be up and running today and can be used every day. This isn't a rainy day system. This is a system that will save them some money. We're going to be putting uh, about 3600 watts of solar on it that they'll use every day and we'll take one or two or maybe three of their circuits and run them every day, maybe freezers, refrigerators. And uh, so it's not a system that is pulled out in terms of a, in, in time of a ice storm or power outage. This thing will work and actually hopefully save, in their, save money on their power bill. It's not feeding back to the grid, it's just running select circuits. Okay, we're gonna use a 48 volt battery. Pack. I went ahead and we pre-made some uh, of the Anderson connectors we're going to use for connecting the solar to the battery bank we're going to wrestle a battery box in here and put a we're just putting a 245 amp hour AGM battery with the solar and then we'll program it to match the battery so you have your charge controller here your inverter there's enough room to see what's going on I'll show you that later and um, and the solar we're going to do on another day. We just wanted to do the electrical work first, and we're going to be bringing in two home runs to uh, power this 150 volt MPPT charge controller. All right, that's enough of that. Larry says, "Get back to work. Stop playing with a dang video camera." All right, <laughs> let's let's do some. Another fine sight to be working on out here at Thus Far Farms, putting in a solar arc solar generator. I'm going to be putting a ground mount here shortly. Already marked it out. Make sure we're not shaded. This is a goat barn. We're actually going to run uh, one of the circuits from the solar arc in here. they got a refrigerator and some lights, LED lights. So we're going to give them the capability to run that as well. And then we're just going to trench in. Bring our solar in here and trench in. Hopefully we'll find, hopefully we won't find anything. Get into where we've put everything. I think everything fit pretty well. We did get our battery. Batteries in, working good. We got an auxiliary 48 volt battery charger here. We've added for worst case scenarios. Solar is in there nicely. The two transfer switches. A disclaimer: We did not wire these panels. These panels are ugly. They're a mess. We're making our best. Uh, trying to, we didn't go through they, they're really a mess, but we have nothing to do with that, so we found the circuits we wanted to run in the house and uh, got her set up all we need to do is uh, well, we gotta do the trenching, bring the solar in, everything else is connected the grid support lines in so, a lot of options and hopefully, we'll be able to 
run three, four, five circuits every day and knock down a power bill here in this location using the Solark EMP hardened solar generator. Technically it's a portable generator because it's corded. So you do not need to pull a permit to install this. And uh, using these types of transfer switches, it's just like hooking a little Honda generator to your house. Permit not required. That's one other cool thing about it. Okay, we gotta finish it up. Okay, familiar sight. Got Brian augering us some holes for the Schleider. All right, we're gonna pop our two holes in here. We're only gonna do two holes, about a yard and a half of concrete. And um, it is a slower, slower process than just driving them. But when you only have a small Schleider to build, this works for us. Get the machine on site anyway to do our conduit trenching. It's not a big deal to slap the auger on now. So we're getting it down. It's a little, dirt's a little muddy today. A little, just rained pretty hard. So we get these posts in. So it's just me and Brian on the job today. Got my transit set up, very important part of our job, making sure everything's nice and level. Got myself a new transit, little laser level, and that helps a lot. All right, here we are, Engineer 775 with my helpers, Elijah and Wes. And Elijah's learning the hydro fracking trick of how to run a ground rod into the ground using about one, just one water bottle. How far are you down, Eli? From about four feet. Short, short strokes. Oh. You need a fat guy on there? <sighs> Here, you film. Getting tired? You see where you're filming? Back up. All right, a little bit. One water, one water bottle. Well, we're hitting some hard stuff now. Let's see if we can frack through it. Getting it on film there, Eli? Yep. Oh, we hit some hard stuff. But you know what? This is pretty good distance. I can finish it off with a sledge. All right? I think we hit some hard stuff. There, we got through the hard stuff. All right, we need our acorn nut. You filming? Yeah. That didn't take long. <laughs> Drove that ground rod right in there. Here. Keep t just tap it. You can do it. Look, it's still going. You don't need to swing like crazy. Go ahead. Good job. All right, we're gonna put the acorn nut on. And we've put our... Hey, check out that airplane. Shiny. There's... Okay, we added a circuit off of the Solark uh, to be able to come out here to the goat barn and keep the refrigerator from their daily goat milking process operational out here so we put a little transfer switch in here thanks to Johnny Valentine gave me this one day just had it kicking around the shop um, from Home Depot I think he picked them up one day and so right now we're on the grid and then we're gonna turn it off and then just turn it back on as you saw now that's on the transfer switch for the solar system middle is up and then all the way up how's that for loud sorry now that gives us uh, gives them some options here to not lose their milk and to uh, let that not have to worry about having to move that out there. Have, at least give them another refrigerator and access to um, that. So, okay. During the day, the Solark uses the power from the solar panels to power your appliances and reduce your electric bills without the need for a smart meter. If the grid goes down at night, Solark instantly uses its batteries to power your appliances completely off the grid. If the Solark has access to the grid or a generator, it will intelligently maintain the health of the batteries. 
With this grid interactive system, the Solark is able to extend the lifespan of the batteries by over 330% compared to most other solar solutions. In the event of an EMP, there are two waves. In the first, energy travels through the air and is absorbed by the wires in your home like antennas, causing damage to unprotected appliances. The second wave comes from the power grid and can destroy unprotected electronics. Solark EMP hardened solar generator uses proven military designs to protect itself and your appliances from the first and second wave of an EMP.